Face-to-Face -face Games is having their tour in Toronto and Calgary this year, and I'll be in Toronto for the event. And if you'd like $5 off your event, use the link in my description or the code MATCASTER. If you use my code, come by and see me and I'll give you an extra $5 event ticket just for using my code and being awesome. The Toronto event is going to be November 25th to 27th and the Calgary event is going to be December 9th to 11th. If you come to the Toronto event, I'll see you there and don't forget to say hi. Welcome back everyone to another Magic the Gathering Market Movers. Today is November the 14th, 2022. And before we jump into things here, I wanted to let you guys know that I'm hoping to get to 16,000 subscribers by Christmas. That way I'll have a massive Christmas celebration stream and I hope you guys will all join me there when I hit this milestone. With that being said, here are my lovely Patreon supporters. You guys are the reason why I can make content like this on a daily basis, so thank you all very much. Now, let's get moving. We are going to start our loser section off here today with an original shock land from Ravnica. Watery Grave is down 5.15% from $23.12 to $21.93 for its market price, and its average price is $22.36. Next up on the loser section today is Ulamog the Infinite Gyre from Rise of the Eldrazi. This card is down 5.16% from $58.11 to $55.11 for its market price and its average price is $43.11. Next loser on our list today is Kalia of the Vast and this is from the original Commander set down 5.17% from $22.44 to $21.28 for its market price and its average price is $14.55. Next loser is Black Market Connections and this is the extended art version of this card from Commander Legends Battle for Boulder's Gate down 5.18% from $29.33 to $27.81 for its market price and its average price is $31.50. And we've got Force of Negation from Double Masters 2022 down 5.19% from $30.85 to $29.25 for its market price and its average price is $35.38. Next loser on our list today is Eidolon of the Great Revel from Masters 25. This card is down 5.23% from $19.12 to $18.12 for its market price and its average price is $18.09. And the next loser on our loser section today is Pearl Medallion from Tempest, down 5.25% from $26.87 to $25.46 for its market price, and its average price is $26.11. And our final loser on our loser section today is Stoneforge Mystic from Double Masters. This card is down 5.29% from $33.65 to $31.87 for its market price, and its average price is $37.57. And now we're going to be taking a look at the biggest winners of the day, and we're going to start that list off here with... Phyrexian Tower, and this is the jumpstart reprint of this legendary land, up 11.84% from $15.62 to $17.47 for its market price, and its average price is $17.61. The original printing of this card from Urza Saga is sitting at $32.91 for its market price, and its average price is $30. And the reprint of this card from Ultimate Masters is currently sitting at $16.92 for its market price, and its average price is $17.99. And this card also saw a small reprint on the list, and that version of the card is sitting at $20.42 for its market price, and its average price is $20.75. There was one more reprint, and that was from the Secret Layer series, and this card is sitting at $16.28 for its market price, and its average price is $17.99. This card sees a ton of commander play in decks like Edgar Markov, Kirk Son of Yawgmoth, as well as Marin of Clan Nell Toth, and also will hit the Rock Cleaver decks in the commander format. And the next winner on our list today is another card from Jumpstart, and that card is... 
Salvala, Heart of the Wilds. This card is up 12.69% from $13.24 to $14.92 for its market price, and its average price is $14.80. The original printing of this card from Conspiracy Take the Crown is currently sitting at $13.35 for its market price and its average price is $16.16. This card also saw a small reprint in the Mystery Boosters and that version of the card is sitting at $13.54 for its market price and its average price is $14.73. This card sees a lot of commander play as a commander itself and in other decks like Joda the Unifier and also Zexara the Exemplary and also Omnath Locus of Mana. Next winner on our list is Sower of Discord from Commander 2018. This rare is up 12.98% from $10.40 to $11.75 for its market price and its average price is $11.54. And the next winner on our list today is a card that's been going up for the past few weeks, and this card is from Mercadian Mass, Charisma, up 13.02% from $9.83 to $11.11 .11 for its market price, and its average price is $15.24. Next up on the winner's list is a card from Modern Horizons 2, and that card is Archon of Cruelty. This mythic is up 13.82% from $11.14 to $12.68 for its market price, and its average price is $13.03. This card did have another printing of it from the same set with the showcase frame, and that is the sketch artwork. It is currently sitting at $10.63 for its market price, and its average price is $12.69. This card sees a ton of modern play in decks like Indomitable Creativity, as well as Reanimator, but it also sees Reanimator play in the Legacy format as well. The next winner we have today on our winner's section is Opposition Agent from Commander Legends, up 14.08% from $12 to $13.69 for its market price, and its average price is $13.24. This card also had an extended art version that was released in the Collector Booster Packs, and that version of the card is sitting at $19.20 for its market price, and its average price is $23.21. This card is seeing some play in the vintage format in decks like Blue Tinker, as well as Paradoxical Outcome decks, but it sees play in the Legacy format as well in Doomsday decks and also Elves. The next winner on our list is Fiery Emancipation from Corset 2021. This mythic is up 14.11% from $21.83 to $24.91 for its market price, and its average price is $23.01. And the extended art version of this card from the Collector Booster Packs is currently sitting at $30.23 for its market price, and its average price is $30.98. This card does see a lot of commander play in decks like Torbrand, Thrain of Red Fell and Perforos God of the Forge. And our final winner of the day is Guardian Project from Ravnica Allegiance. This card is up 14.27% from $9.25 to $10.57 for its market price, and its average price is $10.44. This card sees most of its play in the Commander format, and it's currently seeing play in decks like Yerok the Desecrated, Lathril Blade of the Elves, Finn the Fangbearer, and also Animar Soul of Elements. And now we're going to be taking a look at the biggest foil winners of the day. And we are going to start that list off here with Wax and Wayne from Invasion. This old frame foil is up 23.93% from $7.48 to $9.27 for its foil market price. And its average price is $8.26. Next foil is Shivan Reef from Apocalypse. This old frame foil is up 29.66% from $89.79 to $116.42 for its foil market price, and its average price is $159.90. Next foil is Barrington Medic from Shadow Moor. This foil is up 30.41% from $4.11 to $5.36 for its foil market price, and its average price is $16.17. Cryptic Analid from Future Sight. This foil is up 32.36% from $7.51 to $9.94 for its foil market price, and its average price is $7.69. 
The next foil winner on our list today is Forgotten Ancient from Scourge, another old frame foil up 48.67% from $100.21 to $148.98 for its foil market price, and its average price is $40.99. Next foil is Oppression from 7th edition. This foil is at 50.80% from $265.25 to $399.99 for its foil market price, and its average price is $409.97. Thundermare from 9th edition. This foil is at 59.90% from $10 to $15.99 for its foil market price, and its average price is $10.50. The next foil on our list is Seed Guide Ash from Lorwyn. This foil is up 60% from $12.50 to $20 for its foil market price, and its average price is $19.10. And our final foil winner on our list today is Earthquake, another 7th edition foil up 63.06% from $105.48 to $172 for its foil market price, and its average price is $232.89. Thank you all so much for taking time out of your day to watch my Magic the Gathering Market Movers. It really, really means a lot to me. And if you could, could you hit the like button so this video does get shared into YouTube's algorithm so I can continue to grow on this platform. Obviously, all the likes and comments that you guys have been leaving have really helped grow my channel. And I'm forever grateful for that. My channel has been going through a bit of a slump in the algorithm lately. It's lasted about over five weeks. So it's the longest that I've ever had this happen. So I'm hoping things get back to normal and then we can get this show going. Let me know in the comment section below, what was your favorite mover of the day? Which cards were you most surprised to see on the list? And which cards have you actually owned that showed up on the list today? I do read every single comment that you guys leave, so please leave them there down below for me to read. Also, I make these videos from Monday to Friday, so I will be back again tomorrow for another Magic the Gathering Market Movers. And until then, please enjoy the rest of your day. Being a patron will help me produce more market movers and add to the funds that I will use for my random buys and also to my coffee fund because I drink a lot of coffee for these videos. And here you can see a link below in the description that will give you all the tiers and what you get in each tier. So I hope you guys click and think about joining. And with that, I'll see you next video. Think about uh, supporting the channel in that way. If not, subscribe, like, leave a comment, and I will see you again in the next video.